Alright, so what's up guys, Phillies Finest here, aka MoBage12, back at you again with another My Philadelphia Eagles off-season plan, 2017 edition. I do these every year, um, talking about who I think the Eagles, what I think the Eagles should do, who I think they should go after, and my overall vision for the team um, if they want to be successful in 2017 and beyond. So let's get right into it. So step one for me for the Philadelphia Eagles would be to cut players that are not productive and have a big cap hit. They've already started doing this with players like Leotis McKelvin who are not productive. He had a couple of nice moments but he's obviously not the corner of the future for us. He's over 30. Um, so yeah. Another player I'd like to see them cut would be Michael Kendricks, uh, the linebacker. I don't think he's a good linebacker at all. He had one good, like, sort of decent season. Um, we signed him to an extension a couple of years ago after that season. And since then, he has not been able to stay healthy. And when he is healthy, he's tentative. He's not, he's not focused. He's not decisive on the field. Um, tentative and just overall, it's not a good linebacker. So I'd like to see him go. And finally, Connor Barwin. Now, as a person, I love Connor Barwin. He's a great guy done a lot for the community of Philadelphia, uh, building parks, fundraising for schools, uh, especially in those in that inner city where they get beat up a lot. So I really like Connor Barron as a person, but strictly on the field, I don't think he's a good fit for this team. I do think he's a good player and he would be able to fit well with another team that runs a 3-4 defense, but he's not going to fit in well with us with a 4-3 defense. Um, when he was on the field, not productive, just like Michael Kendricks. Um, not necessarily indecisive, but just wasn't good enough. Um, I really don't want to hinder Connor Barwin's career just because he wants to stay in the community. Um, I think he would thrive if he went to another team that had a 3-4 defense. So Connor Barwin would be the last guy I'd like to cut. Obviously the Eagles could cut other people um, so they can save space or whatever, but these are the notable guys I'd like to see go um, from the team. Now, in terms of free agency, I want the Eagles to sign one wide receiver. That's it. They can go sign other uh, other players, other positions, in terms of depth and things for the rotation. But I'm talking about notable free agents. They need to sign one one wide receiver, whether that be Kenny Stills, Deshaun Jackson, um, Alshon Jeffrey, maybe Victor Cruz. He's recently released. He is 30, just like Deshaun Jackson. He is coming off a very nasty injury, so I'm I'm lukewarm on Victor Cruz. We're going to have to see what the market is like for him. But one wide receiver. Kenny Stills is young, 24. He could develop with Carson Wentz. Uh, he has deep speed, but he isn't completely limited like Deshaun Jackson where he only has a certain amount of routes he can run. Kenny Stills can basically run anything, and especially since he's so young, you could sort of teach him to run even more routes other than a guy like Deshaun Jackson. However, with a guy like Deshaun Jackson, he knows the city, he knows the team, he knows Doug Peterson, um, he knows the offense, so it's going to be a lot more smoother transition. And obviously, Deshaun Jackson, even at 30, you saw what he did to our defense, completely torched us. He still has the speed. I don't think he's lost a step. I think he has at least three or four more good years left in him. Um, and he has a, some of the surest hands in the NFL. You throw him a ball, he's going to catch it. No question about it. Uh, another guy would be Alshon Jeffrey, another young receiver. He is coming off a couple injuries, though, but this guy is an absolute beast. Bar none, the best receiver in this free agency class. Um, you throw him a ball, he's going to go up and high point it. Uh, you can throw it to him anywhere. He's over 6 feet tall. I believe he's 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Don't quote me on that, but an absolute beast of a receiver. Having Alshon Jeffrey would be absolutely amazing. He can run any route in the in the red zone. You can just throw it up to him. He'll be able to jump over any 5'11", 6-foot corner. Um, Alshon Jeffrey, definitely. Victor Cruz is a little, little weird. Um, if we can get him for cheap, definitely. He is a very serviceable receiver, and he is, again, really good at catching the ball, which we need, especially with guys like Aguilar on the team. So Victor Cruz is going to be sort of a weird situation. We're going to see how much we're going to need to pay for him. But that's what I like to see the Eagles do in terms of free agency. Now in terms of the draft, I'm not going to sit here and try to act like a, a college scouting expert in terms of the draft. I don't know every player. I don't know exactly what each player is. But I have seen the tape 
on some of these guys. Looked at a bunch of scouting reports. I'm just going to list off the names by round by round, and we're going to see. So first round, I'd like to see them draft a cornerback definitely, unless someone like Dalvin Cook is still available. The running back out of Florida State, this guy is an absolute beast. He looks just like Le'Veon Bell, where he's very patient with the offensive line. He waits for blocks to develop, and then he goes. He has the agility of LaShawn McCoy, the speed of LaShawn McCoy, um, the patience of Le'Veon Bell. He's not necessarily a good pass blocker, and he won't run anybody over, so you're not going to use him in these short yardage situations, but as just a pound-for-pound -pound running back, he's absolutely amazing. Not even to say what he does in the receiving game as well. Uh, he's basically another receiver in the backfield. Uh, some of the surest hands of any running back I've ever seen coming into the NFL. So Dalvin Cook is absolutely a beast. But he, if, if he isn't there, um, I like Sidney Jones out of Washington to be the first uh, pick for us in terms of cornerback. Um, for the second round, I like us to get Cooper Cup from Eastern Washington. Uh, really, really good hands. He had over a thousand yards this past season, and I'd like to see someone like Cooper Cup as a number two receiver paired up with the number one receiver we got in free agency. Like I said, be it Kenny Stills, Deshaun Jackson, Alshon Jeffrey, or or maybe Victor Cruz. Um, in the third round, this is assuming that we don't get a um. Uh, a running back, I would say Christian McCaffrey, maybe if he's available, but if he isn't, I say we either go receiver or cornerback again in the third round, because I don't really know, because the running backs in this draft are not necessarily the greatest. I like Dalvin Cook, I like Christian McCaffrey, other than that, I don't really see anybody else who's going to be a real, a real game changer, and especially since we have Wendell Smallwood and people like that on the roster. If we don't have a really big guy like Dalvin Cook or Christian McCaffrey on the board, I don't really see the need in taking another running back. So, third round, we're most likely probably should go receiver or corner again, and that really depends on what we do in free agency. Um, fourth round, we should go either offensive lineman, guard, or center. Um, Jason Kelsey, I don't want to see him go necessarily, but I'd like to see some competition in training camp. I don't think we've really pushed Jason Kelsey uh, enough in training camp. So I'd like to see, you know, a younger guy, some fresher legs, go in there and push Kelsey, and maybe, maybe he takes over the starting spot. But even if he does, you always need a guy backing, backing uh, up a center like Jason Kelsey. So guard or center. Um, for the fourth round, I like Dion Dawkins from Temple or Taylor Moton from Western Michigan. And the fifth round. Same thing, guard or center, depends on what you did in the past rounds. If you drafted the center, yeah, fifth round you draft a guard, and vice versa. Uh, I like John Toth as a center and Tyler Orlowski from West Virginia as a center. And for the guard, like I said, Deion Dawkins from Temple and Taylor Moton from Western Michigan. I'm only doing five rounds because I don't think I can do any more. Uh, um, and that's basically it for the free agency plan, off-season plan, everything for the Eagles. Uh, get weapons around Carson Wentz, reestablish the defense, and I think we should be good. If we do all these things, everything goes to plan. We could sneak into the playoffs, maybe win a playoff game, but we're definitely not going to light the world on fire next year. But this is a, a process, just like the Sixers. You have to trust the process and um, keep going on with it because you have a good quarterback in Carson Wentz, and that's really the first step into building uh, a competitive franchise. Anyway, this has been Philly's Finest, AK Mobius 12. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time we make a video. Uh, be on the lookout for some more highlight videos. When the Sixers season is done, Sixers highlights, Flyers season is done, Flyers highlights. Uh, I'll be making a Philly's Pump Up video pretty soon. And maybe some Union highlights if you guys want to see them. Tell me below in the comments. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.